Welcome to Those Elvis Girls channel. We are three friends from different cities, backgrounds, and experiences, but have been brought together through our mutual love for the one and only Elvis, Aaron Presley. In this channel, we will deep dive into Elvis history, discuss important aspects of his life, and share all about the amazing man he was and the life he led away from the spotlight. So come hang out with us, Elvis girls, on our latest episode. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Those Elvis Girls. Me and Benita are here with one of our dear friends in the Elvis community, and that is Trey from Globetrotting with Trey. And so we wanted to talk today because they have a cool event going on, and then it has some Elvis history about it, and there's a really cool new Elvis house that people can actually maybe tour at some point in the future. We don't really know yet, but we're, we have Trey on to talk about it. So, hey, Trey, how are you? Hey, Chris. Welcome to our chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about being here. I've been uh, following y'all since you've started here, what, two episodes yeah. ago? <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. We told Trey he's episode number three, so he's going to have to come back on in like episode 20 when Trey we figure this whole thing out. <laughs> episode number three is perfect for me because three means a Trey. That's why I'm oh. Trey. That's we right. See, and we're kind of into numerology here on our Elvis Girls thing, so that actually Margarita will die when she figures it out. Margarita can't be with us today. She's dealing with a cat that's in the ER, so she sends her well wishes to you guys, but you'll see her on the next one. So, yeah. yeah. So oh, right. Episode yeah. three. I like it. <gasps> Trey, I did not even Trey. realize that. <laughs> that's amazing. It's meant to be. It was always meant to be, and we had to do it today. So, cool. Okay, so Trey, you guys, you and Spa Guy... Tell us about your channel and like kind of like what you guys focus on. Um, I know people probably know you way more than they know us, but you know, figure you could set some context and like tell us like a little bit about what you have been doing on YouTube. Okay, yeah. So I have a show called Globe Trotting with Trey. Every Tuesday I have a show about Elvis history. And Spa Guy, who I say is the best Elvis YouTuber out there, Billy has a show every Monday. And what we do is we go to locations where the story happens and we film that location all these years later. I mean, 67 years later on some of these places. And we stand there and try to bring that story back to life from the actual place that Elvis was at. Maybe, I mean, I've stood on stages that he played at in 1955. The best. And those are the things I enjoy. I, I can't explain why I like doing that. I can't explain it. It's just there's something about it that I just love to to find locations and bring those stories back to life. Yeah. And Billy does too. And, and Spy Guy, you know, I started watching Spy Guy 2016, Forever, 17, yeah. And I just love what Billy did. And he just, you know, because I was a fan of Elvis and I was just, I would go before I knew Billy, I would go to these locations. Mm -hmm. I just film them. And I, I was a filmmaker too. I mean, this camera right here, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't think about filming them and doing stories, but Billy really inspired me uh, to doing that. And it's because of Spy Guy that I do have a YouTube channel. He, yeah. he, he really, you know, in, you know, told me to, hey, you need to create a channel, man. You know, people are asking and things like that. So I want to give spa guy that kind of credit but yeah we go all over the country i've interviewed a lot of people that knew elvis and uh, girlfriends of his and friends of elvis presley's that people really don't know about i mean i've interviewed both of the friends from lauderdale courts that's so cool yeah and, uh, one of the guys now he died he's he died about mm -hmm. a year and a half ago so i'm lucky to get some of these interviews i uh, Pat Napier. I, I interviewed Julian <gasps> Lito's best friend, Pat. And not, I know. Only that, not only that, I'm proud about this. She just Pat died. And June, Pat, yeah, Pat just died uh, three weeks ago. And Pat mm -hmm. and June had not spoken in like 30 years. They had right. a big falling out there in the early 90s. And I was able to get them back together. Ah! Uh, and so um, they got to speak like even before Pat died, they got to talk to each other. Right. Oh my God, that so, that is my favorite like friendship and story. Actually called me and thanked me because she was, <gasps> she teared up. Uh -huh. So I was like, well, you know, maybe this is why we do this type of stuff. Absolutely. So, even larger than doing these stories, it's actually like bringing friends that are really important. God. Because if it wasn't for Pat Napier, those cool photos of Elvis and June with Nico that y'all have that you love, in the and book, those are our favorites. You know, we're obsessed. Pat had a camera back then. 
that she got for Christmas from her dad. And she had a camera on her when Elvis was in town. And she snapped away. Elvis let her take photos. And he would tell her to stop when he didn't want no more photos taken. And uh, there's a really cool, cool episode that I have with Pat where she, I show the photo. Yeah, I just watched that. Cussing her out. Yeah. And she told me what he was telling her, like, Pat, stop taking my photo. You know? <laughs> so it's, it's stuff Thank like you, that. Pat. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, uh, Pat. <laughs> and it's important, you know, like what you your girls is. are going to be doing. You know, we've got to get these stories because you know why? Time is ticking away. I know. <clears throat> every second that goes by, you know, you never know. I know. And like, Trey, you got, you and Spa Guy have inspired us to be here. And like, just by you guys traveling to all those locations, like we also have been doing, like, we've been calling it like Elvis exploring and like trying anywhere we are. We're like, we have to go where Elvis goes. We have to stand where Elvis stands. And that's a big part just because like, we see you guys do it and we love it and cherish it. And like, we have to cherish these people and these places like while they're still here. So yeah, I think it's huge what you guys are doing. So thank you. Well, and thank important. you for inspiring us. Yeah. Kristen, it's important because there's just so many people that fans know about. Yes. And like Elvis Presley had a long life. I mean, 40, I guess really not a long life, but he had. But a, he did so much in those 42 so years. That's what's important. Year. He did. And uh, I feel like everybody that has a story is important to the Elvis story. Yes. And that's what yes. I tell everyone because some people think like, their story really doesn't matter, but it does because you can tell me like a real thing that happened in the guy's life. That's so true. And I think that's like what, I mean, Benita, you can disagree with me, but I think that's like what we want to try to do on our channel is like, we need to tell the small stories, not like the big stories that people might know about, but like focus more on the little stuff and get that documented because I mean, I truly feel like every single day, like, is just like, we're like a race for time, if that makes sense. Like, we're losing so many people and like, we have to get these stories out there for the future generations. Like, that's why I want to do it. So, I don't know. Yeah, there's so many nuances to Elvis's life. It's like, never ending, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about the time that um, Spa Guy was at the cemetery and Margarita and Kristen, they took me to that same cemetery in Mississippi. Were you with Spa Guy? Because I know there was a couple of videos, but then there was like um, a tornado coming. <laughs> yes, I was. Yeah. I used yeah, okay, so, so before I even like met you, Trey, or knew about Margarito or Spa Guy, actually you I was in Tupelo by myself and I, I used Spa Guy's video like step by step on where to find Jesse Garen Presley's grave. Like I had, I was by myself alone at night in the Tupelo Cemetery. And I was like, let me find this random YouTube video. And I literally was like, okay, turn left at this tree. And like, it was Spa Guy. And that's been, yeah, that's what we use to show you again, like at the cemetery as well. So it's helpful. It really it is. is. Helpful, like, and, and those are things that you probably would have never known about, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. Mississippi, some country as Mississippi. And as a fan, like I'm saying, there's like different nuances. And right now I'm kind of in the journey of figuring out like the, you know, the tree, the family tree of Elvis. And it kind of starts there because you have Noah and then um, Rosalia, you know, like, is that the name? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, not me. Uh, <laughs> did you watch it? Was it the episode where we were with Larry, with Noah's son? I think I watched both episodes. So there was one in the cemetery, but then there was another one when there was like a, a storm coming. And I'm currently reading Sally Hodel's book right now, Destined to Die Young. And so I'm trying to do my research and then you guys, you know, that stood out to me with, with one of your videos. Wait, you know? we have Spa Guy, he's on there, well, he's at the bottom. I have, I have a surprise, <laughs> for, a surprise for, for you girls. Oh my God, okay, oh. wait. Okay, now I gotta like update. See, I got yeah, this format for four people. Yep. Let's. let's I'll do it. There you go. Oh, there. How are y'all? <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, Billy, how are you? I'm doing well. How about we you? were just talking about you, of course. We were just talking about your videos oh, and shouting you out. <laughs> well, I appreciate we were saying, it. So, uh, so Benita, tell, tell Billy what we were just talking about. They uh, they actually yeah. went to the um, cemetery after watching your show. Which one? Yes. So the one where Jesse is supposedly buried in Noah and, you know, supposedly the great great yes. great grandparents of Elvis. 
Yeah. yeah, I was saying, Billy, like the first time I was in Tupelo, like last year, like early last year, I was by myself. I was alone. I was at the cemetery at night, even before like I knew you guys existed and like Margarita, my friends existed. I like Googled like where to go and like your video came up and I literally was using it by myself at night, step by step, looking for that tree. And then I found the grave. So we were just saying like even that little stuff, I don't know if you guys know, but like it really is so helpful that you guys put this information like out there. Just things like that, like really help us. So now it's we're big fans, fans, obviously. And talking and look, to you now so know, i yeah. wanted to know where that stuff was you know growing up reading the books and of course i'm a lot older than all of y'all but growing up and reading the books there was nothing like that basically all you had was the book right and you had to have your your imagination so um i can remember as a teenager reading about elvis and reading the stories and just one you know thinking about one day being able to go to those places to see for myself what it looked like and yeah. um, and it kind of brings the story alive, you know, actually being able to go. And we don't really know where Jesse's at. We have our theories. You know, um, what I do know is. That's what I told them that I learned from your yeah. video. <laughs> exactly. Where Noah's grave is to the right of it, mm -hmm. where yeah. the marker is, that says Jesse, that's Virginia Presley Schopner. That's her grave. Yeah. That, and that's that would be uh, Noah's granddaughter. And another reason that we know that is, and of course, um, I filmed with Larry Presley. Were you with me, Trey, when we filmed with Larry? It was me and you, I was, right? I was mentioning that to them about Larry. And Larry um, was a pallbearer uh, at that funeral. So he is the one that that con uh, uh, confirmed that that was the spot, that he felt pretty confident. And all the books show that, you know, there was a book that uh, Roy, oh, cool. um, that is over uh, the Tupelo house. Roy, um, help me, Trey. Um, Roy's name is escaping me right this moment. Uh, but Roy is, has been doing this since 1980. And Roy was, was involved in the making of the book and all that and the layout of it. And it's very hard to follow because no, Roy Turner. None of it's I in was going to say Turner, then I was like, I don't it, know. The it point took me right. a minute, but uh, it'll usually come. But the layout is not at all the way you would see the layout of the, it's not what you would expect the layout to be because it's just such a random uh, a place. And there was also, the last time we were there, we found um, somebody's children. Who was that, Trey? Do you remember? Um, I could take you to where the graves are. I filmed a lot of stuff. You gotta go back. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's somebody that's, oh, I know who it is. It's Orville Bean's children. Yes. There was two oh. children that died. And of course, Orville and his wife are buried in a different uh, graveyard, but there's two children that are buried there and they're buried close to a tree. It's completely unmarked, but you can take the book. I bought one uh, of the books and book, you can yeah. take it and start lining out because it, there is an order to it, but it's not its not an easy order to follow. And what I'm saying is you may see some graves and then the next one is not here. The next one's way over there and then you start. But um, we went back and started trying to line those out. And uh, a local guy we filmed with, we haven't put any of this out yet, but there's a guy that, that lives around there that feels pretty confident that he knows where Jesse was at. And there's, Interesting. A, there's actually okay. a marker there um, at that spot that just showed up one day that he was oh, aware of. He spent a lot of time in that graveyard. Like back in the day, just showed up one day. Like, well, yeah. it wasn't that long ago. Um, okay. It's been, oh. Uh, yes, Lisa died. It was, Interesting. Our, our, it, was, it, was, it was after Ben passed away. Since the oh, end, wow. Ben, it was oh my about gosh. six months after Ben passed away. This marker just showed up. <gasps> and um, and when I say that, and nobody's ever heard any of what I'm telling you, the people that live there close to the graveyard saw someone come in a, a particular vehicle and alerted him to it, and they went up there and found this. And it is close to, it's not where you were at. It's close to some other Presleys. Interesting. Um, and so we don't know if it's the spot or not, but what we do know is that this particular thing is in a spot where the it Presley on that spot. Let's just say that the Presley okay. family sales, which would have been um, sales was, was very close with close with uh, Vernon and, and Gladys and his, and his name is literally sales. 
um, which is like selling a car. That would be S-A-L-E. huge if you guys found this. Oh my god. And, um, we're working on it, but you know, I don't know how you would ever prove it. That's huge. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. We just admire how you guys are always doing like yeah. the hard like that's the hard research that we that's why we follow you guys and we love you guys. So thank Well, you that's for the doing research that, that gets you uh, in trouble is what that is cuz people <laughs> don't want to hear what really happens. That's true. Yeah. Well, I was that's telling fair. them how you you know how you inspired me to go and do my YouTube channel and how uh, I was explaining to everyone if they don't watch us how we go around the country filming locations. Yeah. And but I also told these girls I said I can't un- I can't explain why I enjoy doing this. I just enjoy finding places and bringing the story back to life from standing at that place. Yeah. The it's fun of it is the magical. Film. Mm-hmm. The rest of it is not fun. All the editing, all that, that's not fun at all. Okay, all you missed us telling, yeah, we were telling Trey about this, and I'm sure Margarita has told you, Spot Guy, like, we're learning all of the IT. You know, it's just not like, oh, let's talk about, like, your friends. Let's talk about Elvis. It's literally like we have to learn how to be actual videographers editors like a lot schedulers of oh my gosh it, it is, can it be is a, lot a lot of work, of work. A lot so. of work. and i can remember like it, i normally put out a video every month for years mm-hmm. i did every monday and then i started doing every monday and thursday now i do monday wednesday thursday friday generally oh, um we're just trying to do once a week if we could do yeah, that we it's, win but it's, it's, it's struggle it's hard it is how long have you guys, guys i have a question how long have you guys been doing your channels I started mine in 2009, um, but I always thought, you know, I started, I was watching Adam the Woo and I love what he did and yeah, how he presented his channel. And I it got to the point where I watched him every day when I got home to see what Adam did today. It was that kind of thing. And I thought it would be cool to do a channel and do something like that, that people enjoy watching. So I started trying things and that was just, I was down in Tupelo because there was a hot tub cover manufacturer there. And I went down to meet with that guy about some business. And while I was there, I thought I'm going to go to the house. I went in and just had the guy that was with me, David Gould, which has a channel as well. He works for me. Um, I had David film me (laughs) trying things and I tried all kinds of stuff and a lot of different subjects. And when I started doing the Elvis stuff, I started getting a lot of watches and that, and I just started focusing on that, which I was interested in that, but, I will say this, um, and Trey, I'm stepping on your time. I'm sorry. Um, no, we're just happy to have you guys here. Yeah. It, with the Elvis thing, you cannot dabble in Elvis. You're either 100% in it or yep. you're 100% out of it. And I've had years where I was 100% out of it, didn't even think about it. And I mean like 10-year periods. But then once you get in it and you start down that rabbit hole, you just can't help it. But it's just – it becomes – part of your day every day so trey when did you start your channel i started mine i just looked back march 2020 so and, and i encourage that trey was right to- before oh, that long ago the pandemic yeah. was official really it was a week before it i guess march march yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, billy billy encouraged me like i told y'all and mm-hmm. uh when i'm how i how i got became friends with the spa guy was i was in memphis at elvis week uh, doing a, uh, something for Dean Nicopolis. Uh Dean and I produce a DVD, and I was selling the DVDs. And Billy came around to our table, and he had one of these cameras, just like I have. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Spa Guy, you mean you film with the Sunny NX30? You know, that's my camera. That's what I shoot all my stuff, because I have business here at back home where I do film uh, commercials and things like that. So uh, I let Billy know how I enjoyed his show. And I I told him, if you ever needed any help, I would like to ride around with you and film. And and I thought, "Mm." yeah, it took a year. year. It took a year. Okay. So the next Elvis week, Billy said, hey, Trey, I'm going to go and film this. Would you like to to ride with me? Yeah, man. So I jumped in the Gray Ghost, the first Gray Ghost. I've been in the Gray Ghost. That's right. One of them, maybe. That afternoon. Benita, Chris, and that afternoon is when Billy found the ambulance. Oh, that, that day. so you got to be there. And it was luckily because I was able to be there and I was rolling the camera as he was driving. <gasps> I didn't know that. Broadway, mm-hmm. And I was able to capture his close up of him ah. seeing that ambulance there in that distance. And Billy had been working on that for like four yeah. years, you know. 
So I didn't I even watch that the video. List. If it wasn't for me being in the car, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have You're the good the luck list. charm. I That's solidified your guys's. Yeah. Well, the next day, Benita, the next day we're in Tupelo, Mississippi. And go ahead and tell your joke, Billy. Where's Tupelo? Uh, right below, one below. Everybody right below, one below. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we're in <laughs> right below, one below, <laughs> Tupelo. We're in a graveyard the next day after finding the ambulance. This older gentleman just walked up to us and was like, hey, what you fellas doing? We were at Orville Bean's grave. We were at okay. Orville Bean's grave in, in another cemetery, not in the one that y'all visited. And uh, we told him what we were doing. 20 minutes goes by. And he's like, hey, y'all know that I have a Elvis signature from a school book. That, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And we were like, yeah, no, man, we don't know that. Would y'all like to see it? Yeah. Well, so I asked him what he did with it. I thought he probably sold it. And he said, right. I have it. you want to see it? You want to see it? Me and Billy said, yeah, man, let's go. Oh, so we took the guy to his house, Benita. We took the guy to his house. He goes out within like 30 seconds and brings this book. And it's probably one of the earliest signatures of Elvis. Yeah. It is the yeah. earliest signature that is not at Graceland. And what's crazy is that guy was given that book in 1956. I can't find stuff I bought last Ooh. week. I know. He yeah, knew exactly where it was. We went in his house and he walked in the back and came out with it. But he knew like that was like Elvis's year. So like to him, that was probably so important at the time as well. Like 1956 right. was the big year. So he's he like, I got to save this. Mm -hmm. He was lucky because the teacher, um, Miss, was it Miss Grimes? Miss Cam uh, uh, Wait, Camp. Miss Camp. <clears throat> yeah. He was getting, she was getting rid of old textbooks. So what, oh she, what how he explained to us, she went by all the desks and put a book on each student's desk that day, one or two books. He got lucky and had the Elvis one. And he didn't oh know who Elvis was. Oh my gosh. And, at, and he, he said one of them, young uh, children, one of them has Elvis's signature in it. Whoever gets it is the lucky one. He said, I saw what? it and got it, but I didn't know who he was. Later that year he did because of the Tupelo yeah. homecoming in 56. But this would have been, um, you know, he would have uh, graduated from that grade probably what, May of 56. So Elvis was just becoming famous at that time. That's so true. he got the book before Elvis was really famous, really worldwide famous. Yeah. So that was day number two with the spa guy. Yeah. So yeah, man, Gary likes spa guys. Good luck charm, I guess, Trey. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> he can't ever get book. rid of you, I guess. Well, Tennessee he, Ted bought that book. He owns that book, by the way. Tennessee yeah. Ted, can right. you, but you can see it in Tupelo somewhere, right? I thought, is it at the tourist, like the Tupelo? No, that's, that is a library card. That okay. Belongs okay. To the Tupelo library. Got you. Uh, okay. That, uh, that book was in my museum in Memphis until all the, the yeah. hodgepodge happened. And um, and Ted has it back in his possession now. But once I get the museum back, I'll, of course, put yes. it back in there. Yes, yes we got to come. Yes. Yeah. It's a great story. You know, that's what the uh, that's what yeah. the museum was uh, built for. It was built because of the stories. Because To building. bring the stories to a place. And we've had uh, another one is there in Tupelo is um, Gene Autry Turner. And Gene uh, actually presented Elvis with a Lee County Sheriff's badge in 1971. And um, I had replicas of the badge made. My friend Tom Salva owns the actual badge and the, the billfold that it was in that, that he gave Elvis. And uh, Gene still had the suit that he was wearing when he met Elvis. Aww. So we did a display in there with the suit That's and with cool. the badge replica. And of course, I filmed with Gene and Gene tells the whole story about, about getting to meet Elvis and all that kind of stuff. And he's still there. If you ever go to Tupelo, okay. go to the gas station. Yeah, we got to go back. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go visit. Yeah. You got to go back. Yeah. Well, that's what we were talking about with Trey. We're like, you guys, you know, you tell the stories that, like, you know, we have to get documented. Otherwise, you know, pe we're losing people every day. And, like, those stories are so, there's they're little, but they're huge in the Elvis world. Like, nothing like, you know, a story that you've never heard before. We have to get the documented. We have to get these people's perspectives and their stories down. So, that kind of, you guys inspired us to also, you know, put that commitment and that passion towards our YouTube channel. But, you know, we're just getting Absolutely. started so we can only aspire, but gotta start we hope to get there one day. So, but yeah, you guys are huge and suppose for us as well. So well, thanks for all that work that you guys do. And look, there's Truly. room for all of us, you know. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh my gosh. I encourage Trey to start a channel. I encourage yeah. other channels uh, because I'm not, a. we're not competition. We're all mm -hmm. trying to do the same things. And same goals. Same yes. But a lot of people think that, 
that if I get views that they don't get views or that kind of oh, thing. No. You know, yeah. it's kind of the thing where if you blow my candle out, it makes yours glow brighter. And that's not I feel like it's working. the opposite. You know, yeah. it's like you come together and it's like a friend group almost. You know what I mean? It just that's brings factual. more. That, that's the yeah. way it should be. That's the way that I thought be. it was. I, yeah. It turns out not to be that <laughs> not to be that great. A lot of it is pretty No, bad. don't let that don't let yeah. the haters like kill your guys' vibe. Yeah. Like, you know, don't listen to them. Yeah. And well, you know. we've been beat up a little bit, um, not physically, yeah. but you know what I mean. And yeah. uh, to the point where this it's hard on social we, media. We really didn't want to go. Yeah. You know, we were committed to go because we sold bus tours and did that kind of stuff. But yeah. But they've kind of, uh, uh, there's a lot, there's a group of people that have kind of sucked the fun out of it. Um, I know, us, there is you know, always that. We, we hate that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, we have to like protect our own Elvis energy. It's like yeah. what we like to say, like, you can't let the haters like in, like, you guys just stay in your, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Well, I know you me, guys know this, you know, I we just, don't need to tell you. I don't, but, I don't yeah. care about any of that. I care exactly. about in the story. And yeah. Me, so. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you guys, so, and that's why we're really here today is to talk about some of the cool stuff you guys have coming up. Um, tell us about, you know, the, first of all, you guys toured something very cool that like we hope to be able to do one day. So first start there and then also tell us about your upcoming event and like who's going to be there and give us some of those details. So I feel like that's what we're really here for and we want to hear about it because we want to hopefully come. If we could swing it, we might be there. So First, tell us, what did you guys get to tour recently that I saw the video? I know, Benita, you watched it too, but I thought it was so cool. Should so, I plug in the name? So the yes, plug in the name. Go search yes. it. Okay. So there's a YouTube video that Globetrotting with Trey, he made. It is called Experience the Upstairs Layout of Graceland Original Blueprints. So the house is actually called, though... Just Pretend Mansion. The Just Pretend Mansion. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so tell us about that, guys. Yeah, so a guy, there's a fan out there that he he's built his dream house. And it's just it's all of our dream houses. <laughs> what he did was he located the original blueprints from Graceland from a book that EPE did. Okay, I was gonna ask where so those are published and those are public. It's public, yeah, it's okay. published in this book. I saw it. Uh, he actually has it at the house, uh, a picture of it. And uh, so he, he studied these dimensions. He studied the blueprint. He visited Graceland like five or six times just for detail, like the detail of the rocks out front. Just little things you probably have never thought about. No, we know. <laughs> and, and this, We've uh, taken photos of every detail, truly. So. This fan has created his Just Pretend Mansion. And yeah. Billy, I want to take you back. Uh, because if, if you, uh, Chris, and his and, name is Jason Qualls, by the way, Jason, Ooh, Jason. Yeah. Yep. We will yeah. link to all this stuff. Um, just yeah. at the bottom of our channel. Like once we post this video. So yeah, just everybody knows. So uh, the, the just pretend mansion is in a place called uh, beach Grove, Tennessee. How, how far from Nashville, Billy? It's, uh, probably 50 miles Southeast of Nashville. It's just below Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I just did a video yesterday on Murfreesboro about Elvis playing in Murfreesboro. And Spa so, Guy. At uh, the Ramada Inn, I saw, yes, yes. yes. And uh, fans, if you if you come to the event on <laughs> September 30th, you could stay there at the Hotel Elvis stayed at. Billy told you. what stayed in Route 208. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so anyway, Billy, I want to take you back to uh, get your description of it. But it's a little, it's, a, it's out in the country, which mm -hmm. is perfect because that's how Graceland was when it was first built. That's how Elvis knew Graceland. That's why he, he loved it, because it was out to itself. That's what he needed. And uh, so when you drive up on this road where Just for 10 Mansion is, you don't see the mansion until you get to the driveway. And then you look up on the hill and there it is. Billy, what was it like when you first saw <laughs> that house? It was pretty incredible. The, the land that they put it on, the angle of it and everything is very, very similar to it the is. real Graceland. They did a good job with it. And there's a lot I've seen. I've been to uh, Graceland replicas all over the world. I've been to the one in in Breda, the Netherlands, where the colonel was born at. There's one there. And, um, and most of them, when they use the word replica, that's yeah. a very loose interpretation of replica. They are similar, but they're not replica. This house is a replica, that's and it's and if you go watch the the drone footage that I did, it's so perfect. It doesn't look real. 
Right. It looks like a model of a house. Dream and, but when you go in it, it is amazing. The guy really, really did the layout. And I uh, was lucky enough and Trey was lucky enough to go upstairs. And I feel like I've been upstairs at the Grill Graceland now because I was able to, it's kind of the same thing we do when we're doing videos. You take a story and you go back to where that story happened at and it brings the story to life. In this case, we go inside of a house and we're able to walk the floor plan that's identical to the one at Elvis's house or very, very, it's not identical, but it's very, very similar. And by doing that, it just gives you the feeling that you've actually been up there. And there's some differences, oh, cool. but the, but the differences, the differences in the house upstairs are more on the Lisa Marie bedroom side than they are on Elvis's office and Elvis's uh, bedroom. And they've modernized the house. It's got a modern kitchen, a modern bathroom, um, and when I say <laughs> modern, they've got the clawfoot tub, and I mean it's just, lives there. This is, this is a this is Jason's house. This yeah, is they live there. Yeah, this is. Not I'm like so torn. I'm like, would I want a modern kitchen or would I want it exactly like Elvis's? Yeah. I, think, I mean, you I know, think the modern kitchen. <laughs> I mean, if I was staying there, I'd, you know, I probably want it a little bit I'm elevated. Like yeah. yeah, it could yeah. be either way. Yeah. 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 Well, you it's, can see upstairs. Not a lot of people when they go to Graceland are allowed upstairs. So I think. For me, that would be a selling yeah. point for me to go take Huge. a peek. And some little things like when, you, when you're standing there looking at the stairs, if you're in the foyer and you're looking up, there's a door right there. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, it was always like, maybe that door goes up or what does that door do? But the door is the back staircase that goes to the kitchen. That's all. So if you go to the top, you walk through that door, it's a little spiral staircase that goes back down to the kitchen. Wait, It doesn't okay. go through the rest of the house. The one on, like you're right upstairs on the left. That There's one, a door right there. That's what that's you're right. talking about. Okay. okay. And they, we also believe that where the blue curtain is behind it is those glass tile to the back mm. bathroom, to what we would call Ginger's bathroom, if you will, at the time of yeah. Elvis passing. But there was, they say that there was those those glass blocks, which, by the way, were also oh. between the living room and the music room where the uh, peacocks are. That was glass okay. block when Elvis bought the house. If you go back and look at the video, there's a video of the girl playing the harp in the house before Elvis bought it when it was the Brown's house. And okay. you can see those glass blocks. And that lady is, by the way, still alive. And she's wow. still giving, um, she's oh. doing uh, fiddle lessons. She's teaching violin. All right. And she's 93, I believe now. Yeah. <sighs> is she going to know how to wow. use StreamYard? We got to get her on. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've tried to get in front of her and do an in interview, but I've not been able to work that out. But when I found out about her, it was in the middle of COVID. And, you oh, know, the older so people cool, are, are really nervous about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but the uh, Jason's house is amazing. And what he did, he did not do a basement. Uh, so he did the TV room where Elvis's office was. Okay. So it is a TV room layout with similar furniture and they painted the TCB on the <laughs> wall and the blue with the, the yellow stripe. And in fact, Trey and I recently got introduced to the guy that designed that room, by the ah. way. And we're going to probably be able to get in front of him. He did three rooms in the house and uh, we know someone that knows him personally. So we think at some point we're going to be able to get in front of him and okay. learn the story of how that was designed and all that kind of stuff. That'd be so cool. When I buy my next condo, I want—I have like dreams about opening up like a motel, like in Memphis, just like all Elvis buys. I would hire him to like paint all my rooms, right? Yeah. That'd be so yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. I mean, he's the guy that did it. So I mean, yeah. oh, that's amazing. So he had, wait. So he did the rooms in the Just Pretend Mansion. He not did no. He did the rooms Graceland. in Graceland. Oh, okay. He did the okay. TV room. He did the uh, the pool room. You know, the the billiard room. And he did take notes on all of this. What was that's the so other cool. one? Was it, it was Elvis's office. That was the three rooms he did. Yeah, he did cool. Elvis's office, the TV room and the billiard room. Yeah. 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 See, that's like, I didn't office, even like know he was the way, has a fireplace in it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see that. So mm -hmm. that's so cool. I love that you guys. So, okay. So you met the owners, Jason, mm -hmm. um, and then you guys are throwing an event there. Like, that we'll be yes. able to buy tickets to and go to. So tell September us about the 30th, that. September 30th, we're having an event. It'll be a Saturday afternoon, and uh, Trey can tell us about the special guest. So for, it's going to be September 30th, 4.30 to 8.30. It's going to be a meet and greet with Jimmy Rogers Snow. <laughs> and who Jimmy Rogers Snow is? Hank Snow? 
I've been everywhere, man. Some of those great old songs. That's Hank's son, Jimmy. And in 1955 and 56, Jimmy toured around the country with Elvis. There in the South with Elvis, Scotty, and Bill. Jimmy, some, uh, in the early times before Elvis really got huge, Jimmy was billed b- above Elvis in yeah. newspapers. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jimmy actually showed us one of those. He, uh, his dad and Colonel Parker had the, uh, I believe, what the Hank Snow Jamboree. Wasn't that it, Billy? It was Jamboree, was it? yeah. And, Jamboree uh, Attractions. Yeah. Jamboree Attractions, and that's what Elvis played on back yep. then. Elvis, Scotty, and Bill. Jimmy was a part of that, I believe. Uh, and Hank was the headliner. Mm-hmm. And Hank was the headliner. So. Until Hank realized Elvis needs to play the last song every night. Mm-hmm. And Hank was... So they betray him in the movie. encore. Like he's gonna get everybody just riled up and then leave. So, <laughs> so Jimmy is gonna be at the Just Pretend Mansion. Now Jimmy spent yeah. time at Graceland with Elvis. Mm-hmm. So yeah. this is gonna be the first time that Jimmy is gonna see the mansion. Too. January of '58, and Jimmy oh, lives cool. actually not far from that house. But what I was gonna say is, the way it's portrayed in the movie is that Hank Snow was jealous of Elvis. Yes, and that's not factual at all. What it, uh, Hank Snow was a businessman. So the way it worked is the first half, the, the closer in the first half was Elvis. Then they had an intermission. And then Hank, because he was the headliner, closed the second half. After a while, Hank realized Elvis needs to close the show because people are leaving after he's done at halftime. Yeah. He wanted the people to stay to spend money. <laughs> so he switched with Elvis and Elvis closed the shows at that point. And which shows that he wasn't a jealous guy. He was a businessman. He understood what, what was right, what was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and they also in the movie, they portray Jimmy as uh, they portray him first as playing That's All Right Mama for the Colonel on a record player. Uh, y'all okay. remember that scene? Mm-hmm. Yes, we Snow. do. Yep. But that's not what happened at all. In fact, uh, the Colonel knew about um, about Elvis through uh, May Axton, which she's one of the authors of, of Heartbreak Hotel. But uh, the colonel, you know, of course, was uh, did a lot of stuff out of Florida, and May was in Florida in Jacksonville. But that's how the colonel knew about Elvis from May Axton, not from from Ooh. Jimmy. And Jimmy also is dancing on a table. Y'all remember he dyed his hair? And yeah, the hair, the, the table. Mm-hmm. None he of wanted that to happened. look like Elvis a little yeah, bit. None yeah. of that. He just like him. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but they wanted Jimmy. They wanted Elvis to be with Jimmy at the uh, Jimmy Rogers days in Meridian, uh, Mississippi. Meridian, Mississippi. They asked Jimmy, Jimmy basically, because him and Elvis were similar in age, they Jimmy rode with Elvis in the car. They they went on it was, so it was Elvis yep. and Jimmy and Bill and uh and Scotty. Scotty and then of course DJ at some point. But he literally rode in the car with Elvis and they wanted Elvis to be seen with him because he was more famous than Elvis. And that's the time that he stopped at a um at a Sherwin Williams, which we're told this story by Jimmy that was there. He said they stopped at in Meridian at the Sherwin Williams. Trey's been there and filmed. He found I where filmed it was. The paint store. And oh. Elvis bought black house paint and came out and painted his name on the door of that pink Cadillac with a paintbrush. We just looked at those photos like the other day. Yeah, those yeah. are and, iconic. We love and those. Jimmy photos. saw him do that. He was there. He witnessed him do that. He was riding with him. And then, of course, they're riding on the hood of the car. And you see Elvis with a uh, home video camera. Yes. that there's no footage of because that camera burned 10 days later in the glove compartment of that Cadillac when it burned in Fulton, Arkansas. Oh, mm-hmm. oh man. I think a lot of the ladies know this pink Cadillac because there's a shot of Elvis in, yes. yeah, he's, yeah, that's Jimmy he's got Rogers the trousers right on and like, you know, you can kind of just the curly yeah. hair. There you go. Mm-hmm. There it is. That's that's Jimmy. Jimmy. He's got a camera in his hand. <laughs> And, yeah. and, and think about that, guys. You're going to get to meet Jimmy Rogers. And it's and like 87, by the way. This is a meet and greet. So Jimmy yeah. is going to share stories. And, and and the thing incredible about Jimmy is Jimmy is a pastor now. Okay. That, you know, he gave up being a rock and roller and turned, turned his life to the Lord and, like, changed his entire life, of course. And he got called to the ministry, by the way. I didn't mean to step on your tray, but January of 1958 at Graceland. And he came and told Elvis that he was going to give up his career and become a a pastor. And he did. And he's still preaching today. And Chris Christopherson, 
got saved at one of Jimmy's uh, sermons. Oh my gosh. Went home that night. Now listen to this. Went home that night and wrote Why Me, Lord? Mm -hmm. Some. Because of Jimmy Rogers. It's so weird how it's all connected to Jimmy Rogers. The yeah, Why Me, Jimmy Lord? Went to, he went with Johnny and June Carter to Israel when, they, when Johnny went and did his movie. He helped him with the movie and baptized Johnny and June Carter in the Jordan. And uh, I will be going to Israel this year and filming, by the way. Okay. Um, and uh, and I'm going with, Jimmy's not going, but I'm going with some of Jimmy's people. In fact, oh, my tour guide so cool. is going to be the guy that was Johnny and June Carter's tour guide for that movie. In oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. What? That's, That's so cool. Well, so, that so, is so cool. So oh. if you want to meet a legend. I'll be going and telling Jesus stories. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing that for Jesus. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. But September the 30th at Just for 10 Mansion, Spa Guy is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Jimmy Roger Snow, we're going to talk to fans, ask, you know, answer questions, and uh, just let Jimmy share his life story. And uh, you're going to get to experience the mansion. You're going to be there. Uh, he has a really nice swimming pool in the back. And uh, we're going to have food, and it's just going to be a fun time to get together. It's kind of we're calling it the Summer Bash because we were yeah. going to do it earlier, and we moved it to September the 30th. But we're still calling it the Summer Bash because it's going to be kind of like this is going to be the end of summer for us. Yeah. So. Well, it's only a week after the fall starts, and uh, uh, but one more thing warm. about Jimmy is Jimmy was the uh, he wor worked at the Grand Ole Opry as the preacher for 23 years. So he opened Nashville. the Grand Ole Opry every yes. day and he closed the Grand Ole Opry every night when it was done for 23 years. Oh, wow. And he would do all, he would preach after the Grand Ole Opry was, was done, what, who, the people that were there, and he would have altar call. And more than 1 million people came to the altar at the, at the Opry with Jimmy. Mm -hmm. He's like a Nashville legend too. I did not know yeah. that about Jimmy. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's got, I mean, he knows everybody. He does. Well, I say yeah. everybody. He knows That's everybody. like a storied career, I mean, too. Yeah. yeah. You'd have to know a lot of people because yeah. there's like a lot of famous people that performed at the Grand Ole Opry yeah. over he all knows those years. Every single one yeah. of them. And y'all have to think about this is how many people that are still with us actually is in that first Cadillac with Elvis on the road when Elvis was starting out performing. I mean, who can tell tell us one? Story? There's nobody. Yeah, like nobody exactly. I would say even people that were on tour with Elvis at that time, the Jimmy Snow. I don't think there's anybody still alive. Uh, the Hank Snow show, except for Hank, or except for Jimmy. I have to like go through the roster, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Jimmy is probably the only person uh, living, and he really has a an incredible memory. Um, you know, he's 87, but he can remember things, names, dates. In fact, what I'm doing is because I'm going to Israel, I'm studying with Jimmy. Yeah. Um, but I, I just love those kinds of things. And I want to go tell those stories as well. And I want to see it for myself, just like I wanted to see the Elvis stuff. Yeah. And Elvis yeah. would probably agree with you. Yeah. Well, oh, he yeah. thinks he the Jesus would. story is definitely yeah. way more important yeah. for sure. Yeah. No yeah he was always searching. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for, you know, I don't know if there's any other details you wanted to share about your event, but we will link to, you know, the well, page about a book. So Go there's on. 42 tickets. Okay. Uh, Kristen, 42 tickets available. We've sold a few already. And um, 430 to 830 is on memphisbustour.com. That's our okay. website where we sell tickets for our bus tour. Yeah. That is, uh, we have the link where you can buy tickets to that event on memphisbustier.com. Uh, and I'm telling you, like when you first pull into that driveway and you drive up, that's a cool experience because that house, I feel like I'm back in Memphis. Yeah. And the thing is, when you're up there at the ho house and you turn around and you look back down to the road, it's in the country. So how that's it was. how it was when Elvis first moved in in 57 mm -hmm. uh, to Graceland. That's you know, so cool. He was out in the country. Mm -hmm. He's out in the country and um, lightning bugs and it and all. Mm -hmm. yep. so, I can admit, like, and it's a it's it. a very nice ode to to Graceland and to Elvis and a very nice guy. And he really went all out to try to make it. And of course, codes nowadays 
like the the back stairway that we were talking about, they had to make it wider to match codes. That so mm-hmm. there's a few things that because of codes that they couldn't make codes. identical. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I would have just built it anyway, but that's <laughs> I'm not, I'm not codes. Code. Whatever, yeah. it's good enough yeah. for Elvis. It's good enough <laughs> and, for us. You know, and, that's um, all that matters. But they they did a lot of stuff like that. But but to give, I'll give you just a little bit of an example. When you walk up those stairs, that door's to your left. Mm-hmm. You turn to the right, and then you go up two more steps. And Elvis had and a door there that. built. There's yeah. a door. And but that door was not originally there. And then there's a, a wall that goes around like that. And when you walk through that door, there's double doors that go to the left. So his office is to the left. And then you go through the edge of the office and there's kind of a foyer. And then his bedroom is to the left. And then it circles back around to the uh, to the bathroom. But if you get to walk it, it'll completely make sense. And say I could see it right now in my mind where I've looked it's at so those hard. I know. floor plans a thousand <laughs> times and it just didn't speak to me like going there and walking the walking around. Because yeah. what blew my mind, Billy, is when you went through those first set of doors, like where well, where yeah. Elvis' bedroom door was. I didn't realize the office was to the left. I always visioned the office down the hallway or so. Yeah, yeah, it's it was kind of like a suite where he has two doors that go into a, a foyer, and the office is this. And then the bedroom is is just separated from it. So you could be in the office and have the doors closed to the bedroom and it would be private. Yeah. And uh, Lisa Marie's is somewhere next. Lisa Marie's is right next in that same. Well, connected or no? Down the hall to the right. So if you if you go, if you open the door to go up two steps, open the door, the double doors are to your left. If you were standing at the double doors, if you were walking from the stairway, the double doors are on your left. If you turn and went down the hallway, her bedroom is all the way down the hallway on the far right. Yeah, the last room on the right. Yeah, there's a there's a hallway. Now, what he did different than what's in real Graceland is at the end of that hallway, the doors are at an angle. They're 45 degrees like that. So that's mm-hmm. least the door, and that was the other bedroom. Okay. And it's like that. His, it's a square hallway with the doors like this. But if you go back and look, at the video uh, in This Is Elvis with, um, what's that guy's name, Trey? Um, oh, yeah, that that documentary uh, that they did, like, a, yeah. right after he died. Um, he yeah, down that, his last down night down was. That hallway. His name is escaping me right now. Um, but he, you'll see the doors at an angle, not straight. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's, and that's the other thing, is once you go in this house and walk around and go back and watch those videos, I, Details will start jumping out and it'll all start making a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. You're going to see it differently. Yeah. Like, so I was just going to say, like, if you go to this event, do you think they're going to let people kind of like take a peek at the upstairs or? We can't are, say. Okay. We, <laughs> I say it's a, a, a probability. Let's How they're feeling that. that day. I know it is like someone's personal home. Yeah, and, like, you don't is, want yes. 50 people like traipsing yeah. through your carpet. Like, yeah. so doesn't he, he put like white carpet just like Elvis had like on his stairs and stuff I saw. Yeah. Now you have to put so on. So you don't want 50 you people going. You have to put movies on if you were going to do that. You know, that you have to, the yeah, you, surgical his house, you have to take a shoot. You get, you okay. Have to, yeah. Duh. No, yeah. 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 Um, you mentioned the pool. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, the cool thing about it is, and I just lost my train of thought of what I was going to say, the cool thing about it, um, uh, just for 10 Mansion is a, is going to be a wedding venue. He is booking. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, I saw that in the video. I was waiting. I what he's going to do is you can have a ceremony. If you're getting married, you can have a ceremony on the front lawn with the backdrop of the house behind you. And uh, if you saw my video, I, I filmed a girl that was dressed in a, in a I did see that, yeah. And he saw how it popped on film, you know, it was great on film. And uh, so, yeah, that's what they're doing right now. It's a wedding venue. He's, he's going to rent it out for a, not renting out, but you can rent the day to mm-hmm. have your wedding there at the house because he still lives there. So, Okay, Benita, we'll have to convince our husbands to just do some vow renewals or something. There you go. <laughs> so some can, vow renewals. Split the cost of the wedding. Um, oh, you mentioned the pool, tray. The joint one. Is the pool an exact replica of Elvis's pool as well, or no? It's a it's kidney shaped. Yeah, so it would be similar. Now it's not in the same place. It's, it's, not, it's okay. not on the side. The yeah. pool is in the backyard. Yeah. Okay. Um, like where that we're at Graceland, where that grass is to go to Vernon's office, that pool area is where that grass would be today. Okay. And That's by the so way, cool. I'll I'll bring this is kind of off the subject, but on the subject, there is another house in Mississippi that was the people were friends with the Browns and they built their house on the exact same floor plan that was used in the Kurt Russell movie. 
Yes. So okay. if you go back and see that, that's in the Kurt Russell movie. But instead of it being stones, it's bricks. But it's the identical house with no basement. It's got the kidney-shaped pool. But it's also what made me think of it is what you just asked. It's got yep. the music room, but no extension on it. But the pool is not down here. The pool is behind the house in that particular case. Okay. But that is in a and small This one has the music city. room, though. Yeah, yeah, across from a Walmart, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> We've been there. But that is in the Kurt Russell movie. Is that That's when so he cool. played Elvis? Yes. Yeah. I haven't seen this movie yet, but yeah. there's been a couple of you yeah. know those movies. Yeah. Oh, you guys remember the you name of that? that? You've got to watch that one. Yeah, that's okay. a good yeah, that's one. Probably yeah. the best one in, in, in or yeah, Charlie Hodge and all of them were in it. Charlie's uh, Charlie yeah. Hodge is playing Charlie in the movie. Mm -hmm. So Elvis's guys actually helped with this movie. Mm -hmm. I love Kurt and Kurt Russell met Elvis once, so it like all came to a circle. Hey, Dave, yeah, he, he, he was like kicking yeah. Elvis in the leg in a movie. Kicked him right. in the leg. I mean, yeah. Right. yeah. That's right. At the, at the uh, Space Needle. That was one of my first Yeah, Trey filmed that. I love riding with Trey. At the Space Needle in Seattle mm -hmm. is where that happens at. And they depict him in the, uh, is it um, uh, the Palm Springs house in there? Or is it the Hillcrest house? Hillcrest. It's been a while since they, I've they seen it. They filmed in the Hillcrest house. That's right. They filmed it actually in the real house. That's and right. Billy and I got oh, inside that's cool. the Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. Y'all go to Spotify Channel. We filmed inside the Hillcrest house. That's on our list. Like we're trying to, mm -hmm. Benita's in California. So we're like, we got to go visit Benita and we have to go do the tours of all these houses. So mm -hmm. it's on the list. See it in person. And well, we yeah, I've seen, right. I've seen yeah. two houses in Palm Springs. The one that he rented, the honeymoon house. And then the one that he bought, which was called dubbed Graceland West. It was a little bit mm -hmm. smaller. Mm -hmm. I want to go there. I love yeah, that. Yeah, and we filmed that recently. Yeah, we did it. We did a really fun uh, California. Well, we spent about two days. And at the Hillcrest house, we actually, we filmed our stuff and then we, press the speaker on the on the door oh yeah and, and the gate opened oh my gosh and we went over there and luckily at that point they had a uh it was a interior decorating business that had that house and they had set like up, they set up the home to show off what they could do to your house and then clients would come and look at the house they just let billy and i just walk around and well, they probably were like, sell, you're going to sell it somehow to someone. So yeah. hey, I'm please blast this. <laughs> I was like, I, I asked those girls, I was like, y'all work here every day? I mean, it was the perfect place to work because yeah. on the hill, looking over Los Angeles with the swimming That's so cool. And I can see why bedroom. he would love it. It's cool being in Elvis's bedroom because they left his closet original, like the wood paneling. Mm -hmm. It was the same closet that Elvis had. But Montevale, if you're standing at the gate, if you're looking at the Good gate, job. if you look over your left shoulder, that's where Michael Jackson died, right there in that house. Oh, that whole, that's crazy. That house is on Carrollwood. So Montevale and Carrollwood hit. That house is on this corner. Elvis's house is here. If you go on Carrollwood and go around, Walt Disney lived on the left right there. So that's right. all that's real close together. But yeah, Montevale. So Elvis owned uh, Audubon, Graceland, um, Circle G, if you want to to go there, Hillcrest, Montevale, Chino Canyon, and Palm Springs. That's it. Mm -hmm. As far as houses for him to live in. Now, I could tell you some addresses of some other houses that he actually owned, but he never lived in. There's even one that I know the address of, and I know that he owned it. I found records of it, but I have no idea who lived there, and I can't find anybody that knows who lived there. But it's a like real odd name that's in that house. Maybe. <laughs> In, in Memphis or where is, is Memphis, it? Yeah, very close to Graceland. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. he bought like, I mean, all his girlfriends, like Linda House. He bought Ginger Linda House. House. He bought, uh, well, he he didn't buy Ginger a house. He, okay. he gave Ginger's mother money okay. to okay, pay yeah, yeah. enough on the house that she could keep Got it you. in the divorce and then pay for her mother's divorce. He bought uh, Linda's mom oh, and mind. dad a house, but they never did the paperwork. Sam okay. Thompson. He bought Sam Thompson a house. In Dr. Bed. Nick's, like he helped finance that, right? Jerry's. Jerry still lives in it today, right? He owns Jerry a house that he still owns. Yeah. That's awesome. Y'all have to come to Just Pretend Mansion. I know. I'm going to try my hardest to live there. So, I mean, to be there because <laughs> from my house, I can. my brother lives in Nashville. And so it's only like an eight-hour, nine-hour drive from Cleveland to Nashville. So... Yeah. If I can swing it, if I can get down there, I would love to see you guys and Jimmy yeah. Rogers Stone. Well, person, it's, but. It's, 
when and we open. haven't filmed in Cleveland yet. We filmed almost everything. You guys, else in Ohio. okay. You want to know? I went. I've been there in the. I had to. I emailed the um the school superintendent. I did not realize I was emailing a school superintendent, but I was. But you know the whole story about the Pied Piper of Cleveland and the documentary. Yes. Okay, so that like the auditorium where it was filmed like still stands, and they do have like some original like seats and flooring and like some of the original doorways and things that Elvis uses is still there. And they have like original yearbooks with like the photos that they took of him. So I like emailed the school website. I was like, do you guys do tours? Like I titled it like Elvis questions. And like, it went to like the entire, the superintendent of the Cleveland school district. Like he has more important things to do with his time. And, I, <laughs> and he like responded to me. He's like, yeah, I'll give you a personal tour. I, he's like, your question is, this, this was the funniest email I've gotten all year. And I was like, I'm like serious. Like I want to come <laughs> tour the auditorium. So right. he, I have photos Like he took me on a tour. So if you guys want to come That's very cool start. Okay. Cause I know how you guys do research. We have to find the footage. Like can put some, start doing that. Cause I asked the superintendent, I'm like, where is it? They Let me in the basement. Awesome. They say, awesome. yeah, mm -hmm. they said it will, it could be in the vault. I don't know. Universal studios vault, the Colonel. Ha I mean, I feel like mm -hmm. I've looked up like all the different theories. So I'd be curious to hear what you guys think when you come to Cleveland. We could mm -hmm. do some digging for sure. I'd love that. That'd be fun. Let's put it on the schedule, Billy. That's right. Yeah, well, you could come to the Rock Hall. Almost everything else. We did Cincy and, um, uh, of course, Indianapolis and uh, the last concert. Um, Indiana. Um, what else in, in Ohio did we do? Well, in Cleveland, I have another place for you that I just thought of. You can't go inside anymore, but this have you heard of the Swingos Hotel? It's like a historical rock and roll hotel that like lots of like like Frank Sinatra stayed there. Like anyone that came through like in the 70s stayed there. And Elvis actually stayed at the Swingos too. And so the building still stands, but it's like now like a holiday inn or something like hmm. I don't know. So also be cool to if you guys can do research on it. I'd love to so see. What do you mean you can't go in? It's a holiday inn. Well, I got, yeah, that's true. You could go in, yeah. but like it's <laughs> we just I go in and film. <laughs> and so there are like in, photographs. Yeah. I've researched this as far. Like I, I can do I could dabble a little bit, but like the Rock Hall archives have the photos of like Elvis at the Swingos, but like you have to like request. I don't think I have like enough credentials to be like, let me see these. Let me see these artifacts, but you guys probably do. I don't know. You can like request to see Elvis artifacts from the Rock Hall archives. So just the thought I'm putting in your heads and they take you cool. in there. Like you're allowed to like, if you get in, if you get access, they'll like show you through like some of their archives and like all their artifacts, which I think is awesome. So that's one of my goals is that to is be cool. able. I've never been there. So. I oh, know. oh my gosh. Come. They have a whole Elvis room. Mm -hmm. You know, they, we get some of the Graceland stuff. So. That's like on rotation. I think now we have the Aloha from Hawaii press conference suit is the big item up here in Cleveland, which I think is cool. I'm like, it's here. It's close by. That's all we yeah. can ask for. So, cool. yeah. All right, guys. I don't know anything else. But any other questions while we have Trey and Swagai with us? No, I, I do have some questions that I want to pick your brain on maybe for another time. But, you know, just yes. like pitching locations and filming because me and Kristen were really into that margarita. Like we love traveling different places. Like, yeah. Yeah. And if people want to follow you, just find you on YouTube is globe trotting with Trey and right. the spa guy. Yep. Go subscribe. We will link good you content. On we'll link you. Billy just hit over a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Oh, Think congrats. That. Yeah. That's huge. Congrats. Yeah. That is huge. But it's so much work. It's just, it's just staying around long enough to do yeah. that. That's all. Well, thank you guys. I know we like we were like Trey. We'll talk to you for like ten minutes, and we've been talking to you for an hour and twenty. So well, I wanted to surprise. Thank you, you both for your time. We so appreciate it, and thank, thank you all just for, for having inspiring me. us. I appreciate and it. Just keep it up. You know, we are following you guys. You guys inspire us, and we hope to be like you guys. So thank you, thank you well, for if your you time. Need any help? That's definitely, definitely reach out. If you need help, I'm here. So yeah, know that. love it. We love it, well, and thank, thank you, you guys so appreciate so it. much. So see you guys. I'll see maybe see thank you in Tennessee. So all right. All right. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Bye, everybody. Right. Bye. Remember this episode that I did at Just Pretend Mansion? Yeah, the mansion that a fan built from the original blueprints of Graceland. A lot of you asked, Trey, is there any way we can visit this place? Yes, you can. September the 30th, we are having a meet and greet at Just Pretend Mansion, 430 to 830. You can meet this guy right here, Jimmy Rogers Snow, Elvis Presley's friend. 
guy that toured with Elvis in 1955-56. Jimmy's going to be sharing a lot of his incredible stories. 42 tickets are available for this event. A lot of you said this place was epic for my video. Now you can experience it at a meet and greet. Just pretend mansion. You can ride up that driveway, hang out with a spa guy, glow trotting with Trey, Jimmy Rogers Snow, at the Summer Bash Just Pretend Mansion, September the 30th, 2023. Get your tickets while they last. Only 42 available. Hey, I'll see you at Just Pretend Mansion. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our episode. Please be sure to subscribe and share. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Those Elvis Girls. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.